All right. Uh, so Joseph motherfucking Rogan got the coronavirus. I don't know his vaccination status. I don't. Um, but either way, this was the other day, and let's play this video, and then there's a follow-up. Got tested, and it turns out I got COVID. So we immediately threw the kitchen sink at it. All kinds of meds, monoclonal antibodies, uh, ivermectin, z uh, prednisone. So, okay, let's be real about this. This guy is a motherfucking multi-goddamn motherfucking millionaire. He can throw whatever he wants at it. Right, he can throw the fucking super duper antibody regeneration stem cells like, you know, 30 kids mashed into a fucking like little like, you know, paste and then inject that into his eyeballs. Right, he can do everything he wants because he's a rich motherfucker, right? And also, we need to really start talking about ivermectin in dosages. There are a bunch of stupid ass motherfuckers out there going to the fucking like, you know, tractor supply store, grabbing some ivermectin paste and then overdosing on it because it's for horses, right? Ivermectin can be an effective treatment when administered in the right dose for parasites. If you've got a tapeworm, all right, okay. I don't know if Joe Rogan has a tapeworm, but when you go out there and say, yeah, I took some ivermectin, and you got an audience of a bunch of stupid fuck right-wingers, they're going to go out there and they're going to buy horse paste and they're going to overdose and go blind. And that's one of the things that we're, we need to start talking about is the dosages, right? People are like the human version, quote-unquote, of ivermectin is prescription only, right? So you can't go to the fucking CVS and go, oh, I'm going to get some ivermectin. No! You want to know why? Because it's prescription only, because people will kill themselves on it if they don't know what the fuck they're doing. So a doctor needs to supervise them. But then people are going over to the tractor store and going to go get myself some grains and I'm going to go get myself some feed. Going to go get myself a goddamn saddle and go get some ivermectin because they're stupid as fuck. And then they're overdosing. They're taking like a standard dose for a horse. By the way, horses weigh like five times the amount that humans do, but hey, whatever, right? So they're doing that shit, and then they're going blind, right? They're fucking throwing up, their fucking organs are failing, and like, this is, the, and then, and Joe Rogan's going out there, he's like, yeah, I took ivermectin. My doctor scribed it to me, and I took some ivermectin. Right, and then, part two. Hello, friends. So, I got back from the road Saturday night, feeling very weary, I had a headache, and I just felt just run down, and... Just to be cautious, I separated from my family, slept in a different part of the house, and throughout the night, I got fevers and sweats, and I knew what was going on. So I got up in the morning, got tested, and it turns out I got COVID. So we immediately threw the kitchen sink at it. All oh, this kinds is the same video. Oh, shit. I thought this was an update. Uh, either way, uh... I was lied to. Someone said that there was an update because it was posted today. But either way, Joe Rogan is out there uh, talking about taking Ivor motherfucking Mectin as if, as if, right, like, there's not, like, a giant conspiracy theory around it. And that's my problem. Like, if I were to go out there and said, yeah, I got prescribed Ivermectin, like, let's say I'm Jimmy Dore and I've got, like, a fucking spinal disease or some shit, right? Uh, and like, oh, I'm taking ivermectin because I've got like a worm running throughout my spine, like in dead space or something, right? I would go out there and say, yes, I am taking this drug for this specific purpose in this specific dosage because of this specific reason. It was described, it was prescribed to me by this specific doctor on this specific day. I wouldn't say, yeah, I'm taking ivermectin when I've got like a fucking audience of impressionable dullards that are going to go out to the fucking tractor supply and grab some fucking horse paste. And this is the problem. You look at Mississippi. Mississippi, 70 to 80% of poison control calls are from ivermectin overdose. What? 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 Does anyone know? Like, what's, what's going on here? Does anyone know? What? What? Motherfuckers, like, seriously, seriously. This is my problem with medical misinformation, right? It's not like we're talking about, oh, yeah, maybe try, like, having, like, adding, you know, more citrus to your diet. Okay. All right, that's one thing. Maybe eat an extra orange every couple days. All right, that's one form of advice. But, like, saying, oh, yeah, 
I'm consuming cyanide. What? You're consuming cyanide? Oh, no, I meant that I was eating apples, and apple seeds have trace amounts of cyanide. I, so I was just eating an apple a day. And then someone goes out there and is like, Oh, what is it? They're getting some cyanide! Whoa! And then they go and kill themselves because they're fucking stupid. And that's basically what we got going on here. Is we've got medical misinformation, stupidity, and dumbassery all into, like, this fucking hurricane. And it's about to run through the fucking Northeast. And they've had enough of hurricanes, let me just tell you. And, like, it's just, it's so goddamn, it's fresh. Reading this shit is so goddamn motherfucking motherfuck.